Hey, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you the lexical environment. What's the lexical environment? So basically, uh, JavaScript has this uh, global environment. Uh, this currently, with that in this document, uh, index.js, uh, we have a global environment, which inside that we can create uh, more environments like functions. For example, uh, let's say in a global uh, environment we are gonna make a function let's say var currency equal to um, water or maybe gold uh, this will be a global uh, uh, lexical environment so when you console log currency uh, you will see gold and the global environment so let's make a function uh, Canada uh, we make a new currency equal to um, let's say Canadian dollar and return currency we're gonna make another function called um, United States and we're gonna make a currency bar currency equal to USD and return currency all right oops currency so what will happen is uh, if I for example try to see uh, because uh, JavaScript has uh, uh, something called lexical environment like uh, whatever is outside the brackets of this function it's outside it's global uh, whenever we come inside a function uh, let's say what will uh, this function return when we say uh, Canada so once we run that you will see CAD will be returned so it's not getting it from the global environment so this currency is a very different uh, variable than this currency it's not redefining it. Basically, JavaScript um, redefines the uh, currency there. Uh, also, um, in the US, let's say United States, uh, once we run that, uh, we will see USD here. So this will return USD. What if we console log um, currency at the end what will happen uh, what do you think will happen uh, you know you changed it here you called us you change it here you using this uh, function call so what will happen here think it will be gold because in this lexical environment this console log exists in the global context uh, or the global environment so this will be called because the currency is there. So uh, each function has a lexical environment. Whenever you run a code, it's a new world. Think of it uh, as a new world, like a Canada function is a new world. Whatever function you declare here, uh, it, it is there. But what if, for example, we remove this currency um, here? Um, and because Canada does not have that let's let me remove this code so basically uh, we have a var currency gold uh, in the global environment and Canada has this so uh, let's discuss the, the scope chain uh, so scope chain is uh, accessing uh, a variable in the scope chain like once you run that, uh, it will look for um, for the currency variable here in the lexical environment, but it can't find it. Then it will go to its scope chain because Canada function is um, let's uh, think of uh, the global or the global uh, thing as an object uh, global dot Canada Canada. Um, so Canada is. Um, a function inside the global object so when Canada does not have um, currency it will get it from the global so when global has the gold uh, as currency then it will return as gold 
it, this uh, concept is called uh, scope chain. Uh, so whatever is inside there. Uh, let's uh, say um, in the functions you can also return function. Let's make another function. Um, let's say Vancouver. Vancouver. Uh, I don't know how to spell that, but uh, so uh, I, I will name it the bank for now. Um, so uh, we want to return bank here. Uh, what will happen uh, here is um, uh, let's return currency and let's var currency equal to Bitcoin for example so what will happen is uh, if you invoke this function what will it return now because uh, you change the Canada function um, and inside there you have another function called bank and then you return the bank uh, so once you do that it will return a function so basically we can invoke that function using double like whatever see it's Bitcoin what if this uh, lexical environment does not have Bitcoin for example um, what will happen now like currency so this Canada has a bank uh, function and so the Canada also doesn't have currency what will happen see uh, it will get the gold from the scope chain so inside here it will look okay Canada do you have currency no Vancouver at the beginning it will have currency and then after that it will see Canada doesn't have currency and then after that it will go to the global and ask currency equal to gold and uh, it will get it from there what if uh, inside the Canada function let's add a var currency equal to uh, can CAD what will happen see uh, so it's getting it from the Canada which is in their scope chain so basically this is called uh, scope chaining and um, how does a spoke scope chain work let me pause the video okay I'm gonna explain one more thing uh, so this became a scope chain I actually would like to discuss one thing more which is a little weird things in JavaScript um, let's say we have a function um, name say name and let's uh, not use var or let or const function uh, use name equal to math return name what will happen here say name so it's basically getting Hamid this is very weird because we even didn't use bar name equal to Hamid and thing so this is uh, one of the issues that uh, it's a little weird uh, in JavaScript what will happen is in the global um, environment uh, this name will be set to Ahmed here and basically to stop this uh, from happening uh, we can use uh, something called use strict sometimes you have seen this code here so this will not happen now so it will throw an error name is not defined you have to define a name then so once we define a name it will work okay one more uh, uh, important thing in JavaScript is uh, blocks uh, how the blocks work for example if uh, 10 greater than 5 um, let's say password or password equal to um, ABC and console log password and let's say we console log password here too to see what will happen here see if we use uh, uh, var functions uh, basically inside here this was this is the first uh, uh, returned uh, thing and the password will be abc and then after that it will be abc if we use let or const uh, this will not be uh, working 
this will uh, be working and this part line 7 will not work so it will throw uh, password is not defined because uh, in this block uh, once we use let uh, function that's why it will not uh, or const password equal to abc so same thing will happen it will not let it to uh, work and also uh, i would like to uh, tell you one more thing let's say function let's say we have a uh, um, var var i equal to zero i less than five i plus plus uh, console log i so see what will happen zero one two three four all will be printed there what if we uh, add a set timeout so let's add a set timeout here um, so basically we just want to run this function which gives console log of i um, after three seconds of each so set timeout so we run a function set timeout after three seconds see what will happen if you use for so idle three, three seconds see all the values will be five 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 uh, let's make it a little faster 200 and run it see all will be fine if you use a uh, let function or const uh, this will not happen so basically uh, all those uh, data will go there so yeah this is one of the things that you, you should take note of uh, you can use var or let uh, of course there are some materials you can uh, find about this uh, why this uh, does not happen you have to read about stacks and uh, also um, hoisting how does uh, hoisting uh, have effect on this and yeah this I want to prepare for an interview so you have to memorize those things one more thing I want to discuss uh, at the end of this video uh, is call something uh, iffy um, what is uh, iffy immediately invoke function um, I have the, uh, what is iffy? Uh, usually uh, when we have uh, a function you can also use uh, arrows like this to uh, run a function let's say console.log hello and then uh, invoke this function directly so this is a function you can also use function like this without uh, using brackets uh, I mean like arrows so yeah both are the same so this is called fe so directly it will have if let's say uh, we have um, let currency equal to let's say ethereum Uh, console log plus hello uh, currency so basically if he doesn't okay usually when you use if he you have to close uh, this currency uh, with a semicolon at the end it has access so yeah deal with that so but you cannot uh, actually uh, it's the reverse i explained like you can't access you cannot access something inside here uh, from the global environment you can't access something let's say var name equal to comment uh, you can console log name so name is not defined so usually this fe is also a very good thing to make note sometimes you will need it uh, during the interview research about this too this is very good uh, it's all about you it's not about me uh, I'm just showing you the way 